Alright guys, Rollout here and welcome back to another quick easy video tutorial sort of thing. This is actually just going to be on the Arabic scale inside FL Studio 12. How to like, you know, use it, how to bring it up and how to basically get it in the piano roll and make your own melodies with it. So, what is the Arabic scale? Well, it's basically just, uh, it's just like any other melodic scale inside of the, you know, music sphere or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's kind of very dark, kind of creepy. Um, Arabian style sounds like I'm not sure how you know give you a description other than show you but yeah very Arabian dark creepy kind of strange sound so let's just kind of pick a sound let's just go with I was thinking a guitar but the guitars were being really weird let's see if we can find a nice nylon guitar um <laughs> Alright, that's probably going to be fine, maybe putting up an octave, so... Um, yeah, so we're going to go to the piano roll with the sound, and we're basically just going to go to the top left. Now, the top left, you'll see a piano roll options, little um, triangle facing down the way. Click that, and you will come up with a window. It's not showing up on a window for the screen, because it's OBS and it doesn't pick up, you know, things like that. So, that's unfortunate, but once you click this, you will see... Um, a scroll down menu, go into stamp in that scroll down menu and then look through everything, there'll be you know melodic chords, scales and percussions just go to Arabic in the melodic scale section, once you've done that um, just click anywhere on the piano roll, let's try like A maybe, okay A sharp, we'll do A sharp Arabic scale so let's listen, well let's basically make a melody using this so make sure your guide, this is basically the stamp, the guide to kind of show you you're not in you're not out of tune, you're not out of scale. So keep that like to the side and then make your melody over here using these guidelines. So first of all, let's just let's just make a melody. Okay, like I said, we're gonna put the octave up. And uh, yeah, we're just let's just start messing about with this. I actually like that at the start, like do 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 do. This is just control and um, left click, dragging, and then shift, and then hitting shift will on the red notes. Going here and just dragging it across by hitting shift, click, and drag. Okay, so let's just kind of shift this down an octave. Like, as simple as that, just to make kind of melodies. I'm, the way I kind of make melodies, like, um, I don't know, I kind of just go by ear, kind of think, like, play with, like, a metronome in my head and, like, think, like, if I, basically, this is just, this is not part of the Arabic scale, I just kind of want to show you guys mentally how I make my melodies. So I'll just, like, think of a metronome in my head, like, like, do, 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 and I'll think of, like, before, like, every do, do, like, I'll think, do, 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 like, kind of, Kind of just playing with like melodies in your head. Um, I don't know if that's how most people do it, but that's how I do it. Um, and yeah, you can just obviously add stuff to it, like a kick and stuff. So. I'm not really
So obviously, like, obviously that's not a, like you can't just start a beat with that. But yeah, that's a, that would be maybe a melody and something. You know, you could add loads of stuff to it, kind of variations and um, stuff like that. You know, chords along with the Arabic scale as well, which I might do in another video. But that's hopefully that helped you guys. Um, I just I know it's a very short video, which I apologize for, but I kind of just wanted to show you guys like something cool like this. Just a, just kind of a scales video, I guess. Um, also, thank you very much for the all the likes and stuff on the last video. It seemed to be really good. It seemed like you guys liked it, so um, I do thank you very much for that. And yeah, here's some more videos. I'm probably going to start uploading maybe three videos a week, like two instrumentals and then a, um, like a tutorial like this. Because yeah, I mean I've got time and I love what I do, so. Um, thank you very much for watching again and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.